Hi everybody, uh, so you're trying to set up your smart home devices but you have mesh internet and so you're unable to isolate what frequency your smartphone or um, iPad whatever uses to um, connect you know to connect to the internet because mesh internet inter it automatically switches back and forth between frequencies depending on you know what is best for you and your device um, I guess they're smarter I think they're smarter than we are at times so problem is a lot of smart home devices use 2.4 the 2.4 frequency instead of the 5 frequency and because you cannot specifically say especially with you've got Google mesh internet you can't specifically say I want to connect my phone to the 2.4 frequency in order to set up this device um, at least you can't do that right now or there's not a way that I'm aware of so you have to have a workaround there's got to be a way for you to um, get, get your phone to connect force your phone to connect to the 2.4 frequency so that you can set up the smart home device. It's a very common problem. Uh, I did a little bit of research and a lot of products um, do not use the 5 frequency in order to connect, so they have to have the 2.4. So, very simple. You may be wondering, why are we in the garage if you're setting up a smart home device? I'm setting up LED lights, an LED light strip in my kitchen, and this is what I'm going to do. Basically, I have the, uh, the device is in whatever mode you consider, you know, setup mode. It's blinking, ready for me to connect. It's connected to my phone. So what I'm going to do is basically walk down the street until my internet um, disconnects from my phone. It's very simple. Basically, if you know anything about internet, uh, the internet routers, the five gigahertz frequency is uh, stronger it can hold a bigger load but it doesn't go through walls it's not as flexible so it isn't going to go as far but if you have the 2.4 frequency uh, it can it can go through walls bend around corners it's more flexible than the 5 but it can't quite hold as much stuff so if you have a lot of things connected to the 5 I mean to the 2.4 your signal is going to be slower um, whereas if you have a lot of things connected to the 5 the signal will be stronger if your routers in the living room and you're in the living room, connect to the five. But if, you're, uh, if your router's in the living room and you're in your bedroom or in your backyard or something like that, you're gonna wanna be connected to 2.4. So the only way to know that your phone, you've forced your phone to disconnect from the five is to walk until you see the range, uh, the little you know, Wi-Fi indicator on your phone disconnect. And then once you've hit that point, you stop, turn around, and then slowly walk back home. <laughs> when you uh, get just to the point where the Wi-Fi connects automatically, uh, you know that you've reconnected. If, it, if you're getting you know, a little bit closer, a little bit closer, and it hasn't reconnected on its own, go ahead and select that, uh, select your internet, enter your password, and if it connects, uh, you'll know that you've connected to the 2.4. You're still really far away. You're far enough away that it disconnected you walked a little bit closer and it reconnected. Sometimes the little uh, the little Wi-Fi indicator won't be all the way, so you'll think, oh, I don't have a strong signal. But you've essentially forced your phone to connect to the weakest frequency, which is going to be the 2.4, because it's going to reach further, but it won't be as strong. So you know that you've your phone is connected to the 2.4. Then you can proceed with setting up your device. Um, I'm going to do that now with the lights. Okay, so we're going to walk away from the house one thing look both ways before you step into the road one thing i forgot to do that i recommend is disconnect any of your uh, little hot spots the little routers that come with it so you have your main router and then the little wi-fi points throughout the house i did not disconnect those so i imagine i'm gonna have to walk a little bit further in order to get my internet to disconnect a little further than i did Let's see. So we should be, I thought I'd end up in my neighbor's yard, or my neighbor's driveway, but it turns out I'm about four or five houses down. And then, all right, I've disconnected. As you saw it, disconnect from my internet. And I'm gonna slowly walk back. And we should be getting to reconnect. See, it automatically connects on its own. And now I know you can see that the signal is weak, and I know I'm connected to the 2.4 gigahertz frequency at this point. 
so I can go ahead and proceed with setting up my smart home device. So I completed the setup for the device and as you can see, hey Google, hey Google, turn the kitchen lights blue. So you can see I have a successful um, smart home device setup. Uh, there were several kind of goofy solutions for it online, a lot of overly technical solutions. If you have a dual band router, uh, you can easily go in and rename one of the SSIDs. Uh, you just add 2.4 to the end of the uh, 2.4 frequency or add a 5 to the end of the 5 frequency so you know which one to connect. But if you, like I said, if you have a mesh internet system, you can't do that. Um, that's in this, <laughs> basically walking down the street is the easiest way to kind of force your phone to connect to the right frequency so you can set it up. Hope you found this video informative, helpful. Uh, if you did, give it a thumbs up, uh, leave a comment, tell me what you think. Uh, if it did or did not work for you, I'm curious to know. So thank you all for watching.